Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to use the opportunity to kind of encourage some people, right? You know, maybe you might look at why am I here? What am I doing? Why am I doing this particular role? You are not, uh, yeah. And also you might also be doubting yourself. You are okay, okay? You don't need to doubt yourself, yeah. So, and one thing I want to let you know that you are created for purpose. So you can tell yourself, I am created for purpose. So all of us, we are created for purpose. So quickly, and some of us can see all this, yeah, these particular mobile phones, right? So some of them you might not be able to relate to. Some people might also be able to relate to. So if you are able to relate to everything, that means you might be very, very old, actually. It, gives, it actually gives your age away, right? So and some people might not be able to relate to half of it also it also gives your age away shows that you've not been around enough yeah so okay so and let's us let's talk about the purpose or uh, the use rather of a phone right what do you use your phone for right so if you could just let's just get a quick summary right so if you can just type in the chat okay So can you see my screen? As someone said, you cannot see my screen. Yes, we can. You can, okay, all right. So, okay, thank you. So, yeah, so what do you use your phone for? What do you, what do you use for some, okay, creating content, communication, okay. So, and messages, yeah, which is brilliant, networking, all right. So, yeah, that is, yeah, okay, for research, yeah, thank you so much, communication, photography, information access interactions yeah yeah communication that thank you so yeah you mind yeah there are a lot of things that you may use your phone for maybe sharing or sending messages or videos or social media yeah or payment applications religious purpose um maybe banking listening to music or internet or searching for web or maybe phone calls actually or shopping to be honest, maybe I should remove this from the list. Yeah. So because that costs a lot of money to, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll leave it anyway. So, but yeah. Okay. And also, we also use it for the global positioning system, which we call GPS. Anyway. So, and video calls is another one. So, but the question is now, what is the purpose of the mobile phone? What is the purpose really? What is the purpose of the mobile phone? Let's quickly look into that. And if you can put in the chat, what do you think is the main purpose of a mobile phone? What do you think is the main purpose that a mobile phone was created? So thank you so much, said connection, connecting, communication. Yeah, thank you, communication. So, and connecting, yeah, make it contact easier. So, okay, all right. So one thing that I want to say before I answer that question is, manufacturers actually determine the purpose of a thing, right? If you are the one that actually build that thing, you determine the purpose. But one thing that you don't, yeah, this is one quote that I want to, yeah, I want to put in there for people. Apologies if you are not, um, if you are not religious anyway. So um, many are the plans in a massa, but it is the Lord purpose that prevails. Okay, so that is it anyway. So God knows the purpose of everybody and that purpose is the one that prevails. But one thing that I want to say, even though the manufacturer determines the purpose of a thing, the user determines its use, right? If the manufacturer says you need to use a phone for this purpose, right? But you will tell me how you use it. The same thing where we are working on in IT. So you built a uh, SharePoint now, right? But how your user are going to use the SharePoint, they will determine it. They will tell you, no, I don't want to use that this way. I want to use it this purpose. So for most most of us, when Facebook, um, let's say social media or Facebook started, it was meant to connect people together. But now people start to say, okay, oh, I can connect people together. Before you know, you connect something, you connect with them and you send them a screenshot or a picture of your goods and you buy goods from there. And then you start to, because you move from being connecting connecting people to become like e-commerce as well. So before you know, it becomes like yeah, a social gathering, people hosting meetings and everything. So, and that's what, because the user determines the use of that application. So, and we know this is a quote from Miles Moro, 
uh, of blessed memory. So it said, if the purpose of a thing is is not known or is unknown, abuse is imminent or abuse. Yeah, you abuse it anyway. Or abuse is evident. So yeah, you need to know that. Yeah, the purpose of the things. If you don't know your purpose, you are meant. You would be bound to abuse yourself. So you need to know your purpose. You need to know. So that's where purpose is very very important. So. And one thing that I want to also say now is, yeah, uh, okay, one minute. So, and um, yeah, the purpose really of a of uh, a phone, right, is to make is to be able to contact someone and make phone calls anyway. So, but we use it for different purpose anyway. We use for but the main purpose is for you to call. But now. Have you actually used a phone without a Wi-Fi, camera, email, or internet? Let's get a sample. All right. If you have, if you are in that situation that you've used a phone before, and that phone has not got a Wi-Fi, you just put one on the chat. So you've you've used a phone, and the phone hasn't got a Wi-Fi, hasn't got a camera, no emails, no internet. If can you put one on the chat? If you haven't, yeah, you can put zero anyway. So and sometimes you just. <laughs> it just also shows your age as well. So, but have you used a phone that there's no Wi-Fi, there's no camera, no email? Okay, all right. I can see lots of ones. Okay, thank you so much. We'll move on because of my time. So, and one thing that I want to say is some of us will remember this phone, right? So, if you know the phone, can you put the name? What's the name of this particular phone, all right? So this phone does its work, but there's no internet, there is no Wi-Fi, there's no yeah. So thank you so much, Emma. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. So okay, all right. So uh, okay, all right. Some people are putting different names. Okay, uh, <laughs> all right. But yeah, this is that written, right? There is written, but it does its work. Durable, but to be honest, you can't do internet. You can't do Wi-Fi. You cannot even take cameras, or you cannot take a picture from it. But the purpose is fulfilled. This phone fulfilled its purpose for those ones that actually use it at that particular time. So over the years, or that I've already answered it, over the year, so the use and the common purpose of the phone is making calls, right? So once you have a phone that you are able to make phone, that phone is fulfilling its purpose and you can make phones. So over the years, you can see now people have this, right? You have... Um, 1G, 2G, 3G, it goes uh, all around like that. So, and you can see how technology has improved. One thing that is common is making phone calls. It's common to them. It has not been removed. So if you have a phone and you cannot make phone calls with it, right, then you have not Yeah. So, and you can see how people use their smartphones right now over the years, right? So for making phone calls is the power of it. But we find that even nowadays, some people are not actually using their phone mainly for making phone calls. You've got internet as most of the part of, of the usage, social media, music, and games as well. But making phone calls has never been relegated anyway. So, and as well, you got the reason why people buy smartphones. We will leave that. So now the question is like, most of us who might have seen something like this, you have a broken phone, but because it still work, you see, you are still using it to make phone calls anyway. So you need to know that, yeah, this phone still work and you are still making phone calls. So you you don't throw it away. You see kind of, yeah, after all, it's still working, right? But at this point, even the camera might be gone, the uh, maybe inside, of course, you cannot even browse anything with this phone, but it's still fulfilling purpose, right? So, and one thing that I want to also say to Ross that, as long as you are fulfilling your primary purpose, you are all right. As long as your primary purpose that you are here is fulfilled, you are all right. As long as that primary purpose is intact, you are all right. You don't need to worry about anything. So, and in the course of life, you might have sustained some broken bruises or some areas, but as long as you are still okay, right? Your purpose is still intact you are still all right. So that is my encouragement for some people, right? Just put this also here. And this is a powerful word and it says, uh, we are at pressed, okay? On every side, 
or you are not crushed, right? You might be perplexed, you are not in despair. You might be persecuted, but you are not abandoned. Maybe you might also be struck down, but know that you are not destroyed. So technically, you are not a destroyed good, right? You are still okay and you are still all right. So if your purpose is preserved, if your purpose is reserved, you are all right. So if you want to say to yourself and say, my purpose is reserved and preserved, then I am all right. I am so much all right. Nothing. And you want, if me, maybe you might want to say it from the worry part. Nothing do me. All right. I did can't pay. I am all right. I sure take whatever you want. The language you want to actually put it there. So I want to, yeah, a day, a day. And yeah, no shaking. Or, you know, how you want to encourage yourself that no matter what the pressure, I still did. So you are indeed all right. Look into your into the mirror and see yourself and put yourself and say, yeah, I am doing well. I am doing well. I still did. Nothing do me. I did can't pay. My life is intact. That's very, very important. So, and you can just go ahead and start to celebrate yourself. Celebrate the achievement you've done. Celebrate what you have gone through. Celebrate why you are here. Celebrate what you're going to do even from this platform. And this morning, right, I got a message that one of you, right, you've not even said, has already got a job, right? So celebrate that achievement as well because it's going to be your turn as well anyway. So it's an, it's an avenue for you to celebrate what you are going to do. And no matter the pressure that is on you, no matter what you are passing through, Tell yourself you are all right, that you are indeed all right. And and say, like I said, everything works together for good. I want to use some moment to kind of pray and encourage someone by whatever you are passing through, whatever you are going through, don't lose hope, right? Don't lose hope. So it is your time. It is indeed your time. You are all right. You can say to yourself, I did, I did can't pay, and no shaking, nothing is moving me, because there'll be pressure, there'll be lots of things, or even on this platform, there'll be lots of things that you would think you cannot do it, you would think, yeah, I've also got some, yeah, messages, on ah, I can't, I can't cope, and I can't, you can, right, yeah, you can, so you just have to believe in your ability, believe in the strength, believe in what, yeah, so it's God that started this in you, is faithful, to complete it all right so i want to kind of uh pray concerning someone in there right if you are also in this you are feeling the pressure right even sometimes you might also have got some rejections you might have also got some has done some applications it's not working for you i want to pray that indeed god will give you inner strength inner strength in the mighty name of Lord Jesus, I want to pray as even people that are still afraid to even put their CV out or you are afraid to apply because of rejection. I pray that God will give you inner strength. God will give you confidence in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. And I pray that concerning every issue of life that we may have faced, but are able to stand firm unbroken because he said oh, that we are not destroyed. We might be perplexed, but we are still together. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. Father, we pray for strength from everyone, like strength to skate through all the orders of life. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus, I pray even for those, anyone that is sick, anyone that is ill, but I will pray for strength. We pray that even the power of God will be upon you. He said, I wish you above all things, O Lord, that you prosper and be in good earth in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. By the stripe of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are healed in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. So Lord, we receive liberty for everyone that are under a shackle in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We receive freedom for everyone under the bound of any force or the other in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. So Lord, we receive prosperity for everyone or on this platform in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. It is our time, O oh Lord, to go and do exploit, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. I see a man diligent in his work. He says, stand before kings and not before mere man. We will pray, O oh Lord, uh, we will be a garden of eagle, even that fly above 
principality and power in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We pray that God bless the work of our hands in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We pray that God bless your application. God bless even everything that you are learning on this platform in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that this will not be a white elephant project concerning you. You will use it for the glory of the Lord in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. It will not be an abandoned project for you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, God will open is arising concerning you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. You will arise and you will shine because the glory of Most High God shall rise upon you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. So arise and shine for your the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Even when the darkness, so Lord, even is over the earth, so Lord, our God shall shine through you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. So Lord, it will make you the salt of the generation. The city that's planted upon the mountain top, you will not be eating in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. You are the masterpiece of the Most High God. You shall shine through in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We shall be showcased to the whole world in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. So the expression of Most High God upon your life, O Lord, shall shine through in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. O Lord, Father, I pray, O Lord, this time for you to express yourself, O Lord, to everyone, O Lord, and to see that you are created in the image and the likeness of God in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We pray for the creation power of Most High God, O Lord, shall be and abide with you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. O Lord, and begin to make exploits, O Lord, in the mighty name of Mighty name of Lord Jesus. But I want to say thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. I will see you again next week. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.